Good evening, my name is Joseph Michael and let's discuss Amazon Prime's The Boys. It was originally a comic book series written by Garth Ennis, adapted for, uh, for television by Eric Kripkeik. Uh, more than likely, no, uh, more commonly known for Supernatural, the TV series, he wrote the first five seasons of that show and two other showrunners took it. A really great show if you guys haven't seen and I recommend it. Anywho, going back to what we're here for, The Boys. So we're going to discuss season one. Um, so let's do a quick summary. Uh, the show is essentially about a character, Huey, whose uh, girlfriend ends up being killed by a superhero, A-Train. So uh, A-Train is supposed to be the, uh, this show's equivalent of The Flash. All the heroes in this show, they're essentially just Justice League versions of, um, of, of, of that, uh, well, Justice League's versions of that, of that universe. <laughs> Excuse me for stumbling over my, stumbling over my time. Um, and the, essentially the whole series is just about, about Huey. Uh, learning how to come to grips with what, we, what, what he wants to do, with what he wants to do, and avenging his girlfriend. And he does this with the assistance of the boys, who are the, uh, Butcher, uh, Frenchie, uh, Mother's Milk, or M, M for short, and then eventually uh, the girl. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't want to give any spoilers. That's essentially the, the, uh, uh, the, the good side, the bad side. It's uh, Vought. It's a company who works with the Justice League version of the show who are known as The Seven. And on The Seven, it's Homelander, Maeve, The Deep, um, uh, Translucent, A-Train, um, Black Noir, and then finally Lamplighter, who's being replaced by Starlight. And in this show, Starlight and Huey end up having an unlikely relationship. So yes, well that, that's essentially the summary. So let's go ahead and move on to what I thought about the, the show overall. I really did enjoy it. Uh, when it first came out, I really just decided to watch it because, hey, why not? Excuse me, I forgot to state that the show came out on July 26 of last year, 2019. And uh, although, yes, it's true, the advertisements for it was everywhere. I already wanted to watch the show even before all those ads were coming out. I, had a, uh, I heard it was supposed to be a parody of the superhero genre. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a, uh, I wouldn't call myself a fan of the MCU, but I do enjoy the, uh, the movies from that, uh, from that, uh, universe, especially the team up ones. Um, but overall, uh, I, I was feeling the superhero draw, uh, not the draw, excuse me, the superhero fatigue, uh, too many superhero movies, but that was my fault. I was watching too many of them. <laughs> um, but they, they did follow a similar formula, right? And, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm just making sure my button was up. <laughs> Um, but they do follow a certain formula, and The Boys does a great job of uh, subverting our expectations. I know that's a very negative term right now, uh, but I, I believe, I would argue that The Boys does this in a positive way. What we expect from superheroes, it's flipped on their head. It's flipped on its head. Um, Homelander, he's such, he, uh, excuse me, I'm not really great with actors, so in my, in my uh, I don't know what to call this, in my video, show, whatever. Uh, I won't be I, uh, I won't be stating the actors' names. I probably should. Maybe in the future I'll start doing that. But continuing forward, a uh, Homelander's character, he's probably the highlight of this show just because he has so much emotions and the actor does a great job of portraying those emotions. And this character, he's very arrogant, but he knows how to play a crowd. Uh, the boys themselves, the team, it's a joy to watch them interact with one another. We see Huey to go from... A uh, individual who doesn't know how to utilize his own agency, he's afraid, very apprehensive, to being able to act upon what he wants. And I love how it starts off with him being an unlikely hero. But of course, in typical fashion, he was just being used and was going to be tossed aside. But as he uh, continues working with the boys, he ends up proving to them that he's a valuable member of the team. And I love it when, when, when any piece of medium does that, when it demonstrates how through... Um, where one, where there's enough determination, uh, nothing stops one, right? They, they, they figure out a way to get out of a, of a predicament. Uh, the rest of the boys themselves, Butcher is probably the highlight from the good guys. Uh, he's such an angry individual, but one understands the anger that he has towards superheroes. And the show does a good job of slowly uh, releasing information, giving us a backstory about Butcher, uh, giving us a little bit, but not too much, and making us uh, uh, intrigued to continue watching the show. And just like recently, I discussed the exp uh, the expanses, Leviathan Wakes, Book One, and uh, in, I mentioned how it was such a great read, a fast read, because you were able to go through it so quickly because it was written so well. 
Well, the boys is it's the same way. The way it's written and directed and shot, uh, you end up watching one episode, and before you know it, you've ended up watching three. And you ask her, you're telling yourself, you know what, I'm gonna watch one more, and that one more ends up becoming two more. <laughs> and then if you don't watch out, you end up finishing the whole season within a weekend, within one setting, one sitting. Um, but that's just how smooth this show is. The the writing is fun, all the character interactions, it's organic. Uh, you you root for Huey, you root for the boys, and you can't help but uh, not root for the villains, but you're intrigued in what they're going to do. Uh, um, you're intrigued in seeing how they're going to fulfill their goals, what they want to accomplish. And although you are rooting against them, you can't help but ask yourselves, like, well, what, what, to what lengths are they not willing to go to? Um, I am thinking about reading the, actually, I, uh, I do own the comic book series on my Kindle. I am actually planning on reading that, um, just to, not to compare, but just because I do enjoy the characters enough. I want more of them, just like with The Expanse. I like the show. I finished the show like two months ago or so. And I just wanted more. I couldn't stop thinking about them. I, I am aware that the, the comics is different from the show. Uh, and I do like it when pieces of mediums do that. I feel like it keeps it very fresh. So if I do end up reading the comic series, I would definitely end up posting a video up here because I definitely want to discuss it with you guys. Um, but just uh, looking at my notes really quick, thinking, finishing touches. Uh... Yeah, if, oh no, if you're into a, a dark comedy, if you're not, if you're okay with a little bit of violence, a little bit of gore, the show is very bloody, uh, <laughs> bloody, but, um, I would say it's bloody just to be, just to be, just to have it, just to have it to be bloody for its sake, right? Uh, but it is, uh, understandable in this universe, so even though they are taking it to an extreme, it is still logical within the terms of this world. Uh, so if you are into dark comedy, you're okay with a little bit of blood and gore. I highly do recommend the show. If you have seen it, I hope you want to, uh, I, I hope we can discuss and talk about it. Who's your favorite character? Mine was definitely, uh, Huey, just because I enjoyed how he, he showed character development, uh, excuse me, character development and growth. One thing I do want to mention about the show before I forget is the soundtrack. The music selection for the show is so great. Uh, uh, it reminded me of a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy, right? When that movie first came out, a lot of people praised it for how the soundtrack did so much. It fit the characters and fit the setting well for, for specific scenes. And The Boys does the same thing with its own soundtrack. <laughs> uh, it's a collection of rock and punk rock. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun show. The music that it chooses really does heighten the experience. Anywho, excuse me, I was going through with my final thoughts. Um... Uh, yeah, so my favorite character I was discussing, it's Huey for those reasons, because I liked how he's uh, shy at the, at the beginning, but he ends up learning how to act upon what he wants, and he ends up taking uh, uh, chances. Uh, definitely Homelander, though, he definitely does take the spotlight from, uh, uh, he may not be your favorite character, but you cannot deny that he's an enjoyment to watch, he's a joy to watch on the, sh on the screen. Um, I'm definitely going to do a, a video for uh, The Boy Season 2. I hope to see you there. If you guys want to discuss, please send me a message or uh, uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, have a conversation with you. Take care and I hope you have a good evening.